we produce a, a million fry, um, you know, how many of those fry are going to come back as adults? And that's a, that's a really good, good uh, question to, to address. Hundreds of salmon fry were released into the Okanagan River Channel in Penticton on Thursday morning, a yearly process done by the Okanagan Nation Alliance Hatchery to try to uptick sockeye numbers. The inspiration for the whole program was back in the, the 1990s, uh, the sockeye run was like less than 3,000 and it looked like it was potentially going to uh, become extinct and a lot of the nation members and a lot of the elders started to raise alarm bells that, you know, we need to intervene otherwise uh, we're going to lose the run. And so that's uh, sort of like the uh, experimental reintroduction started in 2004 officially. Then the fish will be caught a year later and implanted with an incredibly tiny tracker to see their journey down the Okanagan, through the Columbia River and out to the Pacific Ocean. And once they're implanted, uh, ideally they stay in the fish until they're adults, until they come back and spawn out. And so ideally we can track them all the way down the Columbia, out the Pacific, and then back when they return as adults three years later. So with this tagging, we can measure their uh, survival of the adults when they come back and come up with some, you know, what's the, what's the big impact. Last fall's salmon run was a record low. After the heat wave, lack of rainfall, low lake levels, and other environmental conditions affected the fish populations. But I think for this coming year, uh, if things stay on course, it looks like it'll be a, a pretty, good, pretty good run. For Castanet News, I'm Casey Richardson.